The Bears get squeezed as the Bulls come out running. Can we still look higher? This is Invest with Jacob. Okay, guys, so in yesterday's video, we talked about the fact that the Bulls closed strongly, and we should look for a strong move up from the Bulls, and that's exactly what we saw. They pushed up through several resistance points and are now attacking the Wave 3 high. The question is, can they follow through? I'll get into that in just one second, but first, if you're new here, welcome to the show, guys. My name is Jacob Gabbard, and this is Invest with Jacob, where we use Elliott Wave Theory to break down the S&P 500 and the NASDAQ. I highly encourage you to hit that subscribe button down below so that you can get our daily S&P updates, our trade setups, and our buy alerts. All right, guys, the bulls moved strongly higher today. We expect some follow through here. So let's jump into the chart and take a look. Okay, guys, so here we are on the one hour futures chart for the S&P 500. And as we talked about at the close yesterday, we got that strong close up above um, resistance. And I said, if they took out 4010, the bottom should be in and we should be off and running. And that's what we saw. The bulls ran all night and then all day closing near the highs, very bullish here up near this wave three high, which we would expect them to take out to complete the leading diagonal that we've been talking about since back here on March uh, 13th. So again, if you're new to the channel, we told you back here we should expect the start of a C wave higher. And we're getting it, it looks like, in the form of a leading diagonal where you have uh, one, wave one, wave two, wave three is an ABC because all of these waves are ABCs in a diagonal. Then you got wave four down off the Fed. And now we're looking for wave five up here, also an ABC, and we should be completing C up here around the 4100 level. Now the actual C target in general is 4077, but that barely pokes over the wave three high here. Um, and these numbers are on the futures chart, the ES chart. This barely pokes over the wave three high. I do expect us to hit the one, two, three, six around 4100 to complete this diagonal as it does hit basically the top of this channel uh, and this trend line coming down from the other side. So it is a good landing spot for the move up and a good rejection point. So what I would expect is I would like to see follow through pretty directly because we don't have a four, five setup here, which means we're still in wave three. So we have a one, two, and then the big charge up in three, what you'd expect to see is a wave four to kind of reset the MACDs get back up here to wave five to give us negative divergence and then look for the move down. So we don't have that yet. So what we would look for is a continued push to the next fib, which is the 1.0 at 4077, which makes a lot of sense for a wave three since we're trying to hit the one, two, three, six, and then you get the pullback in four and that four, uh, pullback in four guys should target between the 4040 and 4055 areas should hold that. And then you'd look for the continuation up to 4100 again to complete that move off of the lows back here now if that happens and they take out this wave three high and at any point they take out the wave three high that is five up so we do need to always be looking for reversals at that time but wherever they top if it's right here at 4077 or up here at 4100 we do expect a sharp sell-off because that's how diagonals work they get to their point they sell off sharply into support and then they start to build the next wave. So we would look for a sell-off back here toward the 3930 area, and then a wave one of three, two of three, and then off to the races after that toward that 4400 target we've been talking about. So that would be our expectation for the primary count. The secondary count would be that we're topping in an A wave up, a bigger A wave, and then you'd have a deeper B wave, and then a C wave up that would take us to uh, the 4100 or so level, possibly a little higher. So we would look for that on any kind of pullback where the pullback kind of holds this low or comes back and retraces this move up as a bigger ABC. And then we get the C wave higher there as an A equals C up toward that 4100 area from there. So that is also a possibility that we could see should the primary path not, uh, not play out. Now, the overall move higher needs to stay under 4117 to complete this diagonal. If it gets up over 4117, it is very possible we're already in a wave three and running toward the 4200 level at that point. The reason is that exceeds the 764 or, uh, extension of waves one through three, which is too high for a wave five. And at that point, we would have to convert the count into a different count. So those are the uh, paths we are tracking. Again, the primary path would be continuation up toward this 4077 area, pull back and forth, and then up to 4100 after that. Over on the NASDAQ. Okay, the NASDAQ is also pushing higher here, and it's 
also doesn't really have a wave four in it as well so we would expect a continued push in the nasdaq here up toward around the 13 100 area then a pullback and then up toward 13 to 50 which is our 2.0 extension and a common target especially in the impulsive setup that we have in the nasdaq does have a pretty clean three waves up so far it's trying to make its fifth wave up into our target zone so we would expect a little bit of an extension in this move then a pullback then up into the 13 to 50 area to complete five up and then we'd look for a little further down so not as high as we were thinking we were thinking maybe up in the 13 4 or higher area on the nasdaq but i don't think that's going to be the case and really if you look at the fib pinball they just hit above the 618 so hitting the 2.0 is pretty reasonable there as a target for um, this wave one up on the nasdaq and then we'd look for a pullback in the nasdaq as well as we've been talking about for a while the nasdaq is bullish above 12 um 490 and at this point the nasdaq has a setup that the alternate count below 12 490 would look more like this is all of wave one and then you've got a and b and you'd get a c wave down for wave two and then you'd start one of three higher from there and two and so on on the nasdaq now i do think this count is the one that will play out up toward the 13 250 area it's the one we've been talking about for a while but now that we have this very corrective structure off of this high i do believe that an abc on the nasdaq would be the uh, alternate count i don't see a direct sell-off happening on the nasdaq based on the overall structure off of the high so those are the counts we're tracking on the nasdaq a little different than the es as the es is in a leading diagonal and the nasdaq is a little more impulsive guys if you love the information that i put out in these videos and you want real-time market updates from me you need to check out investwithjacob.com there's a link down in the description go ahead and click that link and it will take you right over to the website. Once you're there, check out our membership plans area. We have two incredible plans, and they both come with a seven-day free trial because I want you to get in there. I want you to make sure you love it and become part of our trading team before you ever spend a penny. We are absolutely killing it in there, guys. We just started our new trading program. It's how I teach Elliott Wave Theory. It's for beginners, so you can learn how I teach Elliott Wave Theory, how we identify these things and tra trace them and understand the targets for these waves. It does come with both memberships. And in our first room, the Invest with Jacob room, you get all of my real-time market updates, all of my buy and sell alerts, all of your Elliott Wave questions answered, a midday video where I go over exactly where we are in the counts and what to expect, as well as the training material you just saw. We trade the SPY and the QQQ and we swing trade, which means our trades last anywhere from a few days to a few weeks. So we don't trade quite as often as a day trading room does. However, if you are interested in day trading as well as individual stocks, you need to check out PT's Throne Room. In there, you get everything you get in the Invest with Jacob room as well as individual stocks, day trading, and PT's reduced risk binary method that absolutely crushes the market. He gets you in at a cheap price and gets you big multiples on your money, and it's how he structures the trades that are so unique. It's something you kind of have to see to understand, which is another reason we give you that seven-day free trial. He also started a challenge account where he put $4,000 into an account trading mini ES futures, averaging 3 to 4% gains per week, showing you how to build a small account into a large retirement or savings account. Guys, we'd love to have you in here because we are making money and we'd like you to make money together. All right, guys, so key takeaways for today. We're looking for continuation on the ES or the S&P 500 up here toward the 4077 area, then a little pullback and a finish up here around 4100 before we see a pullback in wave two. The alternate count would be that we're in a bigger ABC, still looking up toward that 4100 area. Over on the NASDAQ, we, your primary count is having us head toward the 13 to 50 level. However, it is possible we've already topped in wave one, and we have started an ABC down toward the 12 400 level in that area before we see the next move higher in the NASDAQ. Guys, that is your market update for today. I will talk to you tomorrow.